Hello, hello, hello. Remember problem 43? That was a coupled oscillator. And <laughs> it was not very successful. There were only 21 people who answered. It's true that 70% of those 21 were correct, but of course the 21 alone is too low. Now, I assume that you've all studied my solutions. And once you see a solution, you say, oh my goodness, yes, of course, I could have done that. Well, that's what I'm going to bring to a test today. I want to see whether indeed you now can do a very simple coupled oscillator problem. And this time I will do it with two springs. I have a spring with spring constant K1 and at the end of that spring is a mass M1. And below that spring, below M1, I attach a second spring with spring constant K2, at the end of which there is mass M2. So I attach that to the ceiling and I slowly release them with my hand. They will stretch, of course, and they will come to a halt. And this is the moment that they have come to a halt. So this is not moving and this one is not moving. The mass of the strings, sorry, of the springs can be completely ignored. And the question now is, what are the two resonance frequencies which we also call normal modes of this coupled oscillator. Remember, since there are two oscillators, there are always two solutions. One in which the two objects are moving in phase, so they're both going down at the same, come to a halt at the same time, both going up and come to a halt at the same time. And then there is a frequency which we call the highest frequency in which they do this. Again, they come to a halt at the same time, but they move always in opposite directions. So there are two normal mode frequencies. And I want to know what those two frequencies are one I will call F plus, that's the highest frequency, and the other I will call F minus, which is the lowest frequency. And I would like you to do me a favor to give me those frequencies in Hertz. And I prefer three digit precision. And now I'll tell you what M1, what M2, what K1 and K2 are. So M1 is 2 kilograms, M2 is 1 kilogram, K1 is 1 tenth of a newton per meter, and K2 is 3 tenths of a newton per meter. So this drawing is really not to scale. This is just a sketch. So, I would like the answer in Hertz, number of oscillations per second, with three digit precision. And I'll be so proud if the number of answers will now exceed 50 or 60 instead of the 21 from, all, from problem 43. I don't know yet when I will post this problem, maybe sometime in October, 
maybe I will wait until November, maybe I will wait even until December. Maybe it's a nice Christmas present. In any case, you get your chance now to show me that yes, I have taught you some very basic physics, how to solve simple coupled oscillators. Have a nice day, take care, and I hope, I really do, that you still want to be friends with me.